You might say to me, Bertie, but you know, you've been speaking about finances, but there's a scripture in the Bible that says that if you sow sparingly, you're going to reap sparingly, and if you sow bountifully, you're going to reap bountifully in 2 Corinthians. Now, what about that verse? Now, I want to read something to you there. It says here, now, um, now he that ministers seed to the sower, both ministers bread for your food. Now, what is that actually saying? He says that God gives seed to the sower, and then that seed that is sown becomes bread for other people. So it is transformed. God gives seed to people. Forget money now. Think of corn and think of wheat. So he gives that seed to people. They sow it in the field. It grows. It brings forth more seed. That is taken to the mills and bread is made out of that. So seed sown is turned into food for people. Now listen to what he says here. Now he that ministers seed to the sower, both ministers bread for your food, and multiply or change your seed sown, and, and, and what does he then do? Increase the fruit of your righteousness. So what he's saying here is that they've been made righteous in Jesus, if you read the whole passage, and then there's a fruit of being righteous, which is generosity. So he says, if you can take money and give it to the collection to the poor, then the fruit in your life will be multiplied. You will, the more you give to people, the more you'll be seen as generous. The more you give, the more you sow, the more money you give to these poor people, the more uh, 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 it will be multiplied or changed into fruit behind your name, which is... You are generous. That is a simplicity of 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verses 9. Now, you, I've got a, a series on this. Just go onto my website. Just search out finances or tithing in the search section, and you'll find everything I've got there on finances where I just explain this verse by word, verse by verse, ver, verse by verse. Verse by verse. Amen. And that will really be simple to understand. So go and study that out. God bless you.